Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia and a bunch of you have asked me to tell you what happened on our emergency date night. I will tell you, it did not go the way I had planned it. Hey y'all, I want to apologize for the not great video camera and the fact that I'm leaning back on my pillows but my microphone has gone a little wonky so I had to delete off a good chunk of the beginning of this recording. There is a little bit of reverb back in towards the middle of the thing but it only lasts a second or two but in the beginning it was such a huge chunk that I just had to edit it out. So I promise I will be investing in a new microphone as soon as I can squeeze it into the budget. So um, until then, I'm just going to jump you right into the middle of the recording where I'm talking about uh, what happened on date night. So if you don't know why I'm talking about emergency date night, then I I will recommend you go to the very end of this video and click on the link that says emergency date night will be in the upper left hand corner. Watch that video first and then come back to this one because this will make a lot more sense. So let's go ahead and get into it. Mauricio said, I really want to go out. I know it wasn't planned in the budget, but I really want to go out. And so I said, okay. So me being me, I was like, great, this is the opportunity. We can sit down and talk about what we think is going to happen and what, what direction Mauricia would like to take from here. I'm type A. That's how my brain works. Mauricio is not type A. In fact, if there were a type Z, that would be Mauricio. Here's how the evening went. We got in the car and we started talking and I said, so what are you thinking about doing? And he started to yell. Now, mind you, Mauricio is Hispanic, as you all know, and his yelling button is set very low. So he automatically starts yelling even before he's mad. He thinks we're going to have potatoes for dinner and I serve pasta. He's like, pasta? What do you mean pasta? He doesn't, so his energy and enthusiasm is not always proportionate to his actual emotions. So he started to yell at me, but this time it was like legitimate yelling. He was screaming at me. So I stepped back a lot and I got upset and it turned into a fight <laughs> pretty quickly. That was before we had even gotten to the restaurant and we had agreed to go out to dinner and then end the evening with a movie as well. I realized that he wasn't ready to make any decisions and you know it had only been a few weeks since he had found out and he was still reeling and I was pushing too hard and I realized that. What I decided is I took a completely different approach at dinner. At that time he was working for Amazon Flex and I said so do you want to keep Amazon Flexing or are you looking at something else and he said I don't know I'm gonna think about it. So I said so what are you thinking about? You know, because I, I will give you, you know, you do have the right to take a little bit of time to figure things out, but what direction are you headed? He said, honestly, I would like to finish my college degree. And that's a good idea because with a college degree and a clearance, he can get pretty much any job he wants in DC as long as he's qualified for it. I knew he had been going to school for a long time, several years, and he was working very hard on it but when we started the Dave Ramsey program he had knocked it down to one class a session I asked Mauricio so how many classes do you have left and he said mm, I don't know and I said well how many credits until you graduate and he goes I don't know maybe 75 and I did this honey you need 121 credits to graduate how do you need 75 more credits and he said really I don't know I don't know how many credits I said have so I asked him to open up his school on his phone and tell me. I said, let's find out how many credits you have. So here's the thing. Mauricio is doing a prior learning assessment program that he's been slowly working his way through. And it was going to give him credit for 10 classes based on life experiences. And basically what he would do is he would write a paper and then he would get credit for a class based on that paper, showing that he had the experience in that class to um, meet all the requirements. That would be 
30 credits that he could do for that. When he opened it up, he went, huh, he had 30 credits left. So basically, if he had completed his PLA program, he could be done with school. Now, six of those classes, I think he still had to write the paper for, but he'd done four. He just hadn't submitted three of them. He submitted one, but he hadn't submitted any more of them. Sure, I finished choking him for not knowing how many credits he had left. He should be done with college in six months. So that was super good news. Reached no other agreements. He doesn't even want to deal with what kind of career he's going to have or anything like that until he gets this degree done. And we're hoping something will just pop up. What I'm really hoping is that the contractor job comes through soon. And well, it's not a career job, it, it's a much better paying job than anything he's got going right now. So keep your fingers crossed that something good comes through soon and if you're the praying type, feel free to pay, pray for us and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!